Hello everyone, this is Mike Bergey from Mainspring, and today we're going to talk about the new FileMaker Server 17 admin console. So um, I'd like to take a moment to point out some differences between FileMaker 16 and uh, older admin consoles, um, and we'll talk about some of those differences and what that means going forward on the FileMaker platform. So. Uh, first off, you may notice, if you've ever used FileMaker Cloud before, that a lot of this looks familiar. And that's because um, FileMaker 17, for the server side, uses the same rendering engine, the same kind of dashboard, that FileMaker Cloud uses. And essentially what this is, is it's a dashboard that consumes the admin API that FileMaker created um, and performs all those actions for you. So. If you really wanted to, you could build your own dashboard that does most of the actions uh, that you're seeing here. So let's get, just go, get started going through tab by tab, checking this out. Um, starting on the dashboard, you'll notice it's a lot like FileMaker Cloud. It'll tell you at a glance how many databases you're hosting, how many people are connected, some stats on your volume, um, and your usage metrics for memory, network, and disk. Now, on this test server, I'm running this on a T2 micro instance on Amazon Web Services, so it's not very powerful. You can see it's already spiking things just from me being connected. Um, there's a new uh, notifications interface here that has a lot of uh, notification alerts, alerts for when updates will be available, that type of thing, similar to how FileMaker Cloud works. On your databases tab, it's very familiar to the old databases tab. Everything's here. Um, you've got all your individual file controls. It'll show you clients connected. You can disconnect clients, send messages to clients, that type of thing. Not too many changes here. The huge change, the first huge change that most people are going to notice is with the backups tab. Now, this is completely different than what has been in previous versions of FileMaker. And um, a lot of people are going to like this change because it makes backup super easy. Um, a lot of people may be confused um, or dislike that this uh, if they have um, if they want complete control over how their backups work. So this new feature is automatic backups, and automatic backups will just run um, once per day at midnight, and it will preserve uh, seven days worth of backups for you, and then automatically delete those. Now. Similar to FileMaker Cloud, what you can do is you can check off any one of the backups and hit Preserve Backup, and that's going to chain. Uh, that's going to save that backup in time as its own separate protected file. Um, now you can preserve as many backups as you want. If you hit the Backup Now button, that's automatically going to preserve that backup for you. Just be careful about um, doing. Um, <laughs> doing too many preserved backups because you can actually load up your uh, disk drive pretty quick. Now there is still scheduling available here, so if you do want that complete control, it is available um, for this backup type, all databases, you can choose a folder, you can choose where that backup folder goes, so all that functionality is still there, so um, a lot of people will kind of maybe get confused that they moved all of this under its own backup schedules tab, but when you think about it, this makes a lot of sense. And you've got individual uh, enabled or disabled, you've got the ability to save schedules and load schedules um, from one server to the other. Repeat options, that type of thing. So very powerful and uh, its own top level tab, so I'm kind of, uh, I'm on board with that change. <laughs> The configuration tab is, um, of course, where you're going to do a lot of your settings. A lot of these are similar to what you would have found in the dashboard in the old um, admin console or buried underneath either the general tab or the database server tab on the old admin console. So you've got your general settings being able to stop the database server, rename your server, whatever you need to do here, uh, automatically start uh, services settings here. Uh, you've got your FileMaker client settings here, your timeouts for Pro and Go and for WebDirect, and whether or not you should filter databases based on uh, user accounts or not. Now, um, this new admin console, I like it because it's got these little intuitive popovers here with a general description of what that thing does. 
uh, but also a help link that if you click is going to open up um, a new tab. <laughs> of course, I've got IE security settings here, so that doesn't work at the moment. Um, but it'll very quickly allow you to get the full documentation on any single setting in the system. Folders, your usual folders here, if you've got separate backups folders, uh, any additional database folders, and your default database folders. Script schedules is the same as before. So you've got FileMaker script, system script, or a sequence script here. You can set a database, a script, um, schedule name, that type of thing. Notification, so um, this is a little bit new. So notification, uh, local notifications are a new feature here, and that's what this notifications bar up here does. You see just one shot up because I hit 80% of my memory. So that feature is new. Um, it will display when the admin console is running, uh, even if the admin console is not in the foreground. So that's a new feature there. Email notifications are still there. You still need to configure an SMTP server if you want that to work. SSL certificate is now in um, its own tab two. You have the ability to generate that. Um, I haven't tested this out yet, but I'm assuming it works pretty similar to how the FileMaker 16 uh, server SSL certificate process worked. Um, it's got links to the help documentation there as well. And then logging is now in one place. So settings for top call stats, um, and then the ability to download each one of those logs separately. So this is nice that you can actually download those instead of trying to hunt those down on the disk. All right, uh, another big change is in the connectors tab. So on the connectors tab, this is uh, interfacing with either plugins or ODBC, the data API, and web publishing. Web publishing now is completely just dedicated to running web direct. And that's a large change because you'll notice that custom web publishing is absent in this tab for the PHP or XML settings. Um, so FileMaker did announce that was deprecated and it doesn't appear to be in uh, 17 at first glance. And that is because this new data API is here. So in the data API, if you turn this on, You'll see that it'll give you statistics for um, how much data you've actually used. There is a limit, it's two gigabytes per user per month that's cumulative over the course of the year for all users. So uh, if you have a five pack AFLT, that'll be 10 gigs per month times 12 is 120 gigabytes per year of bandwidth. Plugins, same thing as before, script engine plugins. Do you want to allow the script step web publishing plugins as well? Are those enabled? And then ODBC uh, is in its own tab as well. Um, a quick on or off there. And lastly, the administration tab. So you'll notice a couple different things here. Um, you can import license keys. You can buy, there's links to buy more users and buy more data. Uh, for the data API right here. Um, and then there's a sync license feature here that syncs your license key with FileMaker's uh, registration servers to update uh, your permissions. Uh, your admin user account, you'll notice that's just one username and password here. Uh, if you're looking for administrator groups, they're here under external authentication. See external accounts for admin console sign-in. This allows you to specify a group name for admin console users to be able to sign in. So um, that can go down here as well. And that is it. Just your regular old external authentication settings down there. So there's a lot to take in. Um, I went a little over the five minute mark here talking about FileMaker Server 17, but this new dashboard is a great step. It gets off of that old um, web publishing engine that was Java based. Uh, now this is Node.js based. So it's a lot more stable. It's a lot more geared to being an actual web app that manages um, our systems. And with the new newer admin API for us to be able to make our own utilities to manage the FileMaker server, 
there's a lot of powerful stuff coming out. So it's an exciting new release for the server admin console.